come into the editor and you can select from a bunch of themes. So essentially all these books, these are templates of books that you can select. So essentially once you go into the select a theme, let me just select this one. Right. Awesome. Some bug. Right. So essentially this is a cover editor that is inbuilt. So you can change the images. Uh, you can right so this looks good I think so essentially and then you can start writing something so this is basically what Papyrus does uh, it simplifies the process of creating ebooks. So I gave you a quick demo. There's not a lot to see essentially, but once you start writing an ebook, this will help you a lot. Uh, so essentially, I'll just explain very quickly. So what are the features of uh, Papyrus? So essentially, it has an inbuilt cover editor and it publishes to EPUB, uh, the movie format for Kindles and PDFs. Um, so I'll explain what are the problems that we are trying to solve. So for example, if any one of you has tried to write a book or you know convert your blog to a book so he'll uh, resonate with what this product is trying to do so essentially as of now there is a small uh, you know industry that has come up around people helping other people to ship out their ebooks so with these uh, self publishing platforms coming in like uh, kindle direct publishing and then there is the look and these e readers coming in uh, there is you know a lot of interest from amateur authors people first time writers who want to ship their ebooks out this is primarily because you know, it has become very easy to become an independent author and you know start selling ebooks. Some of the best sellers are from independent publishers on the Kindle platform. So essentially, but uh, now as of now, you know, when you once you want to convert ebooks, for example, people have books in the word format in text files. So if you want to ship out an EPUB or a Kindle format book, so essentially uh, there are tools. There is a tool called Sigil and there are other tools that help you do that. Most of them are desktop tools. So they, what it tries to do is it, try, it tries to provide an end-to-end ebook publishing platform. So essentially you can come here, publish your book and then if you want to start selling it, uh, so it has Gumroad integrated. So just a single click, set a price and you'll be able to start selling your books in minutes. So right, uh, this was all about Papyrus and I don't have much else to say. So any questions I'll be glad to take that yeah sure uh, what's the editor is it built on tiny mc or no no this is um, no tiny mc so what you see it's very simple it is um, a document uh, content editable so ah, yeah yeah so uh, as of now it just does not work on firefox and all because of issues with gecko and webkit so this is only on chrome or webkit based exactly. browser so, and, you know, yeah. doesn't content editable cause you a lot of problems it does a lot of problems <laughs> <laughs> So what are formats you can save once you write a book? List? So as of now you can make it in PDF, uh, Kindle, the movie format and then EPUB. I am planning to integrate doc, <coughs> text, anything essentially have a content you I can put. Yeah, so this is HTML. HTML if you want I can no, do I it in another. And yeah, so web readers, yeah. Yeah, one is like can we publish it through our site as well? I mean, as in like a subfolder, just generates HTML. Yeah, yeah, you can do that, but it uh, no, not as of now. I'll take this as a feature request. And the second thing, uh, how's support for writing code in it? Uh, Embedding code in it. Anyone has a blog? Uh, technical blog. A uh, debug file ka blog import karna. Just a second. Uh, so you can uh, another feature import chapter from URL. Uh, Ankur, what is your this thing? Uh, you can go to dev blog or support blog. Okay. Dev. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. No problems. Dev blog dot support dot com. Support b dot com. So go to the second post. Okay. No, not this one. Go to the second. Yeah, the mobile this version. This one? Yeah, this has support. Okay. But it's a very full chest, so I don't know if you will import those. I I'm not sure it'll work. That's fine. Let's I'm try just yeah. curious to know. Yeah, yeah. I'm also curious. <laughs> <laughs> Command C copies, right? Uh, so there is a nifty little feature that lets you import content from your blog. Let's just see if it works or not. Should work. Yeah, it's there. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, it is happily you skipped your this thing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. 
So basically, if anyone has content not from a third party side, I can try and show that. For the code blog, it's there. Yeah, you have. Jc yeah. dot Zaki dot in. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Js dot. J A C E. J A C E. Dot Z A I K I. Z A I K I. Z A I K I. Dot in. What is that? So as of now, if you uh, you have to give the direct link to the blog post. So yeah, just so go down. Um, just go down. Uh, this one? That's one with the uh, yeah. This one. That's one's got code in it, and that's embedded directly. Okay. Should work. You can edit code as well. Okay. Yeah, there is some issue. I need to fix that. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it lost the, color the code. It yeah. the code. Sorry? It lost the color coding. No, no, it's not. It is not even coming here. It's there. Like there is some issue with the. Okay. Yeah. So it is transferring the Right. Uh, so you had a question for someone. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Is it completely free or? Uh... So as I don't know in beta, but I do plan to charge. I have to support myself, right? What what will you charge on like? So for... I'm thinking of nine dollars per month for the editor. I I still have to experiment, but yeah. As of now, it's free. Nine dollars per month. Yeah. Right. Okay. Any? Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, uh, next one push, you okay? Great. Sorry. Can you go to this specific.com? I can use it? Yeah. yeah. yeah.